Not right now. It's supposed to be the busiest day for Mitchell International Airport, and you can see that it is a ghost town. There's currently nobody waiting to go into security. There are some people coming out, but beyond this airport, a local cybersecurity expert tells me an outage like this in the future could be even more devastating. The blue screen started crippling computers early Friday morning. I started getting calls just before 3 a.m. in the morning. Cybersecurity expert Alex Holden in Mequon says he's been on the phone all day with clients needing help. Asking questions, uh, what is happening and why. Holden blames a bug in an update for the cybersecurity software called CrowdStrike that messed up Microsoft computers. Update was uh, faulty and had to be uh, redone. The outage caused chaos at airports across the world, including Milwaukee's. Anybody canceled in here? Yeah. Canceled? Flights couldn't get in the air. Some media outlets couldn't get on the air. Hospitals, banks, all impacted. Even getting gas was tough at some stations. It is indeed a horrible update. If a cybersecurity issue like this happens again in the future, where does that leave us? My thoughts go to our transportation, hospitals, to places where human life can be endangered if certain things will get um, impacted. Holden says that's why there needs to be more tech safeguards in place. We may have um, certain things that support uh, people's health fail, certain things that will make uh, emergency systems unavailable. So that a future outage doesn't affect more than our convenience and comfort. We want to have some kind of better warning and ability to come back from these things. So, Erica, the biggest question tonight, how can he say that we can prevent this in the future? He says that there needs to be better testing on these updates before they're pushed out to millions of devices to prevent another outage like this from happening in the future.